sexual jurisprudence here we are going to learn offenses and punishments related to sexual intercourse there can be natural sexual offense like rape there can be unnatural sexual offenses like sodomy we are going to learn everything in this chapter so first of all i'm going to start with the description of some of the important terms related to sexual intercourse and sexual jurisprudence see suppose if a man is not able to perform sexual intercourse and achieve gratification he will be considered as important inability of a person to perform sexual intercourse if a man does not get erection at all it means he may not be able to insert his penis into the vagina he will be considered as completely important next if a person if a man or a woman is able to perform this sexual intercourse but not able to become a parent he or she will be considered as sterile please understand that if a person if a man is not able to perform sexual intercourse at all he will be considered as important same thing in female analog of importance in woman is called as frigidity frigidity when a female is not able to perform sexual intercourse this will be considered as frigidity in females what about a sterile see a sterility means what inability of a male or a female to become a parent he or she can perform sexual intercourse when i talk about a man see suppose if he is having hypospadias I hope you know this disease this is an anomaly of urethra in male I hope you have learned in your surgery see ideally in a male opening should be at the tip of the penis at the tip of the penis ideally opening should be here this should be the urethral opening but what about in a congenital deformity if urethral opening is here at the down part here this is considered as hypospadias hypospadias and if opening will be and if opening will be at the upper part here it will be considered as apspedias so what is happening here in a patient or in a person of hypospedias if he is going to perform the sexual intercourse he will be having normal erection he can perform the sexual intercourse but he may not be able to deposit the sperm at the right position in female genital organ so he will be considered as a sterile male so overall do understand the difference in between importance and sterility importance is a valid ground for divorce but sterility is not a valid ground for divorce next two important terms one is called as satyriasis second is nymphomania excessive sexual desire in males excessive sexual desire in males is called as satyriasis and excessive sexual desire in female is called as nymphomania nymphomania and the next term is virgin and false virgin who will be considered as a virgin a female who has not experienced any sexual intercourse before and she is having hymen also hymen is intact what about false virgin a female who has had sexual intercourse before but still she has intact hymen i will teach you how to perform general examination to differentiate a real virgin and false virgin and loss of virginity this is called as defloration and when i talk about marriage on the legal aspect see marriage is a legal contract between a man and 
a woman which implies physical union by the coitus nullity of marriage when a marriage will be considered when a marriage will be declared as null and void means it does not exist from the beginning even after the marriage suppose if a husband or wife who will be proved to be insane now after that marriage can be proved to be null and void divorce dissolution of previously valid marriage is called as divorce so there are different different circumstances where divorce can happen infanticide killing of an infant of age less than 1 year it is called as infanticide and what if a baby will be killed within 24 hours of birth it will be considered as neonaticide neonaticide what about feticide feticide just before they birth killing of a fetus it is called as feticide if fetus will be killed by the parents by the parents it is called as filicide filicide all these are considered to be murder only and next abortion abortion means what mtp medical termination of pregnancy mtp this can be legal but in some special circumstances wherever there will be risk of mother's life yes legally it can be performed but as per the constitution do understand that abortion is completely illegal what is the meaning of criminal abortion termination of pregnancy against the laws criminal abortion this is completely illegal completely illegal what about natural sexual offense unnatural and sexual paraphilias we are going to understand one by one whenever there will be insertion of penis into vagina this is a natural way of performing sexual intercourse so rape will be considered rape will be considered as a natural sexual offense whenever there will not be insertion of penis into vagina but penis is being inserted either in mouth or anal canal that will be considered as unnatural sexual offense unnatural sexual offense like sodomy sodomy means anal sex when i talk about buccal coitus oral sex this is also unnatural sex next when there is no meeting of penis and vagina when there is no meeting of penis and vagina when there is no use of sexual organ but what is happening here there is a different way there is a weird way of achieving sexual gratification suppose if a man who wears the dress of a female and after that he is getting orgasm or if someone else is having sexual intercourse if a boy or a man is watching them having sexual intercourse and now he is getting gratification this is a different way of getting orgasm this will be considered as paraphilia so we are going to learn each and everything in detail so let's start with the beginning first of all we are going to understand about virginity so for this we need to understand the anatomy of female genital organ what is the meaning of virginity please understand that a woman or a female who has never experienced sexual intercourse and the loss of a virginity it is called as defloration let's understand basic anatomy first uh, first of all differentiate two openings here the big opening this is the vaginal opening and the small opening just above the vaginal opening is urethral opening 
urethral opening. Next, see this part. This is called as clitoris. Clitoris, which is analog of male penis, where you can see the erection. And this part, see this part is called the vestibule. Okay. Now, when you see from the outside, the thick and fleshy part, it is called as labia majora, labia majora. Inside, under the labia majora, there is one more layer that is called as labia minora. Labia minora. And this is the, and this is the perineum part. And at last, you are going to see anal opening. See now, this is really very important to understand after the physical examination, how you are going to make it clear that female is actually virgin or not. Suppose if you have a rape case, after the rape case, you will be having one victim, rape victim and rape accused person. See, in some cases, females may lie also. Suppose if a female is claiming that rape has happened but actually it did not all right so you can do some general examination so first of all most important thing is that make it clear first of all whether she is virgin or non-virgin after that you are going to understand the physical signs